exciting, it's a little nerve wracking, because there's a lot going on, um, and you know, everything takes longer than you think it will, that's engineering, but uh, it's fun, it's exciting. We're here at the General Motors Milford Proving Grounds kicking off year three competition. Starting with safety and technical inspections at the beginning of the week and then followed by six days of dynamic events. All the way from onward safety evaluation, advanced driver assistance systems, and emissions and energy consumption. Our car is running. We have a V8, we're the only team with a V8, and it's fantastic getting to hear that roar and getting to see our car drive with it. The emissions and energy consumption event is designed to, first of all, really provide a rugged test of all these vehicles' durabilities. It's over 100 miles, and during the entire test we monitor the vehicle's emissions and how much fuel and electricity that they're using. We just completed ORSE and max lateral acceleration. We got some tire squeal, which we're happy about for a max lat. Coming into competition, we came in as second place and it's really paid off with all the hard work and we know what, what we need to get done and we get the right people in the right spots. When I was in high school, um, I decided like, I think I should become an engineer because of autonomous vehicles. And so I really like ADOS systems. We are really pleased to be part of this competition because uh, of just the valuable experience that our students have from their participation. When you look at what's happening with our industry, we are really in a, a transformative period greater than I think has been in the industry in the last 50 years. So the work that you're doing and, and creating the future of technology and mobility I think couldn't be more exciting. I've been in this industry a long time and I think your interest by participating in EcoCar shows you love it as well. It's fantastic to see a Camaro with a plug in it by the way. It's really great. So if you look at what we do every day in General Motors, um, you're doing it. You're taking uh, advanced technology, applying it to a car, uh, through a vehicle development process for a customer. And that's incredibly exciting. This is the pinnacle of what the students want to do this week is run the autocross and to really see who has the fastest Camaro here. Watching our car compete on the course today was fantastic. Um, all of us are so excited in the stands watching it go. I'm judging uh, the integration efforts, or the vehicle design integration efforts uh, for the teams. And it's been a really good experience because integration lets you go through the whole vehicle, you know, tip to tail, and really what they've done and, and put together uh, inside the vehicles. It was great to have the opportunity to show off all the progress that we've made throughout the year. A lot of us have put in a lot of hard work and a lot of long hours, and it was great to be able to exhibit that work to professionals within the industry. Well, this has been a great week out here at the Milford Proving Grounds, but I'm really looking forward to next week being in Washington, D.C. and looking out my window and seeing 16 of these eco cars parked out there and then being able to go down and take them for a test drive. Car 3 has more than 30 competition level sponsors from government and industry working together to support these teams through the competition. Many of these sponsors donate components that are used in the competition vehicles as well as other hardware and software and technical support as well as funding to help make this competition possible. So General Motors, the U.S. Department of Energy and all of our competition level sponsors are what makes this program possible.
Uh, the reason we give presentations is to kind of convey the status of our vehicle to the judges and make sure that the competition does know the kind of milestone that we're at for our vehicle and make sure we're on progress to get a fully functioning hybrid vehicle at the end of year four competition. Obvious the students have poured their heart into this. I have seen them so motivated, so working hard. I couldn't be more proud of how hard these teams work and they all deserve a tremendous round of applause and accomplishment for all their hard work this year. Yeah.